Kofi Coburn is quite the enigmatic draft prospect. He has the size to be a dominant NBA center in the line of Shaq, checking in at about 285 to 295 pounds depending upon who you ask as he stands about 7 foot. He has some skills that could translate to the NBA, including his rim protection and rebounding, so why hasn't he garnered more attention? Most draft sites have him solidly listed outside the top 60 prospects in this year's draft, so that means that if he falls to undrafted, a team could really be getting a steal by picking him up. I mean, we're talking about a guy who just averaged 20.9 points, 10.6 rebounds, and has a career average of 1.2 blocks per game at the collegiate level. Surely this dude has more upside than what many scouts appear to believe he does. So let's take a look at what Kofi does best. Offensively speaking, one thing that immediately sticks out when watching Coburn is how great of a finisher he is. He is an elite level lob threat out of the pick and roll in particular, whether in the short world where he is decisive enough to stop when the occasion calls for it, or all the way to the rim. He will usually finish strong with both hands when he gets the ball. Like a big receiver or tight end, if you throw the ball up his way, he's likely to bring it down. Weighing almost 300 pounds, you wouldn't expect him to run the floor as well as he does, but he excels at rim running. He can definitely run the length of the floor on the fast break for a lob opportunity. His power and explosiveness help him finish through contact whether he's on the move or waiting in the dunker spot for the pass. You do not want to be in this guy's way at the hoop or you might end up on the wrong side of a poster. Coburn has developed a post up game with his go to move being the drop step. He is so massive that his wide shoulders often cause his defenders to get on his back when he goes to this move. He showcased a right handed hook shot in his time at Illinois as well, which is a nice little counter to what the defense might throw his way. Now in terms of defense, he could definitely offer a team rim protection. His size and frame allow him to patrol the paint by virtue of him taking up a lot of space. It's a tall task to move this guy if he gets good positioning. And when he's asked to drop back in coverage and provide secondary or help defense, he can more than oblige. He seems to know just when to do so and sometimes uses this ability to meet dribble penetrators at the rim for a swat. He often forces ball handlers to make a business decision and kick the ball back out in fear of getting swatted. His presence at the paint is a shot to turn unto itself. And while not overly quick, he does have quick enough lateral quickness to move and block shots when necessary. Ditto for his verticality on the mover at the rim. I don't think he would surrender much if targeted in the pick and roll defensively. Perhaps his greatest strength lies in his ability to rebound the ball. He can leap rather quickly and then combined with his strength allows him to out most of the opposition for loose boards. Especially offensive rebounds which he averaged 3.4 of this season. I honestly believe that this guy might love offensive putbacks more than anything else in basketball. Just look at how ferocious he looks putting back a missed shot. Like how the hell do you box this guy out? He can high point the ball at a moment's notice and just enjoys the physicality of boxing out smaller players for the ball. So now that we've seen what he is capable of in the best aspects of his game, let's take a look at why he may not be getting the attention that other prospects his size are getting. For starters, he has serious work to do at the free throw line. He managed to complete just 65.5% of his 7.3 free throw attempts per game this season. For a player who draws so many fouls, I mean this dude averaged 9.5 attempts per 40 minutes this season. He's absolutely got to take advantage of converting at a higher rate. Coburn would be the ultimate throwback big in the league for the three ball is king. He attempted a grand total of one three pointer in 90 career games with the Illini, I'm not kidding. To make a long story short in this regard, Kofi is not a floor spacer and that is putting it mildly. That could be what is ultimately keeping teams away. He isn't really much of a threat outside of 5 feet from the rim and for now can only be considered a screen and roll big. He is very limited when you factor these things all together. He's not much of a passer either, whether it be out of the post or on the perimeter for something like a dribble handoff. All in all, he is great at what he does, but when he's asked to provide things outside of that, he can struggle. And without the element of spacing, Coburn would likely project as a situational big for now, which isn't the worst thing to have on your roster. So if I was in the Cavs front office, I would heavily consider bringing Kofi in as an undrafted signing. I mean, think about it. He would be able to slide in perfectly as a potential backup big for Jared Allen 
or an end of the bench big who's a lob threat for the guards to throw it up to, and he can also provide you with rim protection, something that Moses Brown struggled with at points last season. I'm just saying Cavs, think about it. 